British heavy middleweight champion, Ireland's Dave Fitzfinley used to be, and he'd like his title back, whatever it takes. Round seven, still no score, but it's really warming up now as Colin loses his cool there for a bit. He's getting fed with a tooth with Paula. Finley comes in behind him, quite legitimately in this case, because he should have been looking anyway. But not with a hair pull, says referee Barron. Uh, 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 well, we all saw that land, but of course he was blindside of the left. <laughs> nice back drop again. Collins, the second one he's delivered. Beautiful body check there as Finley tried to get up, and the third, but this time waiting for him. Ah, uh -uh, danger for Cullen now. He goes back and Finley turns over the cross press and trouble for Cullen here. There's the first ball to Cullen in round seven. Just 55 seconds into that seventh round and the first one too. Ladies and gentlemen, the first fall in round seven to Dave Fitt Finley. And this is how that happened, that fall. Finley tears at him, but Cullen goes past. Neat sidestep by Finley there. And watch Finley grab those legs, take him in an airplane spin of a sort. And then, instead of slamming, as we all expected, he went backwards, taking Cullen with him, climbed over for the cross press quickly, got both legs, and that's it. Second away, round eight. So with Finley with one public warning against him and leading Cullen, the champion, by one fall to nil at the start of round eight. Five to go. Now Cullen in danger of losing that title. I wonder if those fingers are really bothering him as much as it sometimes looks. Well, we'll see what happens in this round eight. And Cullen didn't come in though. Cullen didn't go in, and it's Finley going all the way down on the, off the stage under the floor. Right the way down, it must be about uh, 12 feet over the top loop, I should say, as a guess. But he seems to be all right, landed on his feet okay. And is helped in by Cullen. Cullen coming back with a body check, but Finley holds him, and they both go out of the ring. And this time they land on the apron of the stage here. And I don't think, uh, no, no problem with either of them. They're both back plenty of time. That is Cullen going in with a double leg grab, arm grab there. He goes underneath and a possible, very near pos pinfall there. Almost came off. Really was a possibility to equalize them. But it must have about two and a half seconds. That must have been instead of a count of three, which it has to be. Then he sidestepped, but Cullen takes him beautifully cross press, and he's got one leg. Can it be enough? It is. There's the equalizer, round eight. Just one minute, 45 seconds into round eight, the equalizer to Frank Chick Cullen. Ladies and gentlemen, in round eight, the equalizing fall to Frank Chick Cullen. So the champion gets one back, and he's back in the game. And this is how he did it. Finley body checks him hard, goes for another one. Cullen goes over the top, nicely held as he turns his man and watch that grab of the leg as he holds the cross press. No problem. <laughs> Awful dangerous drop that. He goes all the way around from the, it's the auditorium now. Takes his man with him if he can, or balance, but he can. And a punch to Cullen's Left eye there. And everybody the other side of the ring, they're demanding Finley's disqualification. 
Two public warnings against him, my mother. Cullen will deal with the situation himself. Yes, and taking his man with him, again can't get him off balance. Ten seconds. But Cullen coming all the way down there on the somersault, lands behind his man, and there's the bell to end round ten. But what an effort that was by Cullen. I hope he hasn't uh, hurt himself too badly here because he came down from a heck of a height. I didn't like the way he landed there. He's got just about 15 seconds left to get before the bell goes. Now, will he get up or will he have to give up here? Doesn't look too happy at the moment. And after a fall like that from that height, how oh, should he? Seconds away, round 11. Round 11. Two rounds to go if Ch Cullen is going to make it. It's a hell of a dangerous... Uh, attempt at a pinfall there, but of course now he's very weakened and Finley going in with everything he's got now, and Cullen extremely weak. God, if you come back from this one. And it was all because of that high rolling dive off the top post. Yes, really slowed him up, that has. Crutch hold, slam, and Finley and it produce a few weakness from the top himself now. No. He thought Cullen wasn't watching that, but he was. Rolled out of trouble. And Cullen laying it on a bit here. Here he comes back. Oh, oh. Another weak there as Finley's knee comes up to the chin. This man is on the ropes. This referee far, far too lenient. Delivered two public warnings to Fenley, but uh, he's deserved a little more than that a couple of times, like then, for instance. But knowing Cullen, he won't give him up. He won't give up, and this is absolutely necessary. Obviously, isn't yet. But Finley slowed him right down with these uh, back elbows in the corner. And again, that left knee lands on the cheekbone. And the referee looking at that cheekbone very closely now. One minute, and I don't think the referee's going to allow him to continue. No, that's it. And Cullen doesn't want to start, of course, but that cheekbones doesn't look too good to the referee at all, Bobby Barron at all. So he's not allowing it to continue. Cullen trying to persuade him otherwise. But now it looks like he's lost his title on a technical knockout. Chick Cullen, unlucky.